Yo, what is good, everybody, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. So, as you already read in the title description or the thumbnail, we're going to be doing a shopping vlog today, and that is because Zara just released, totally unbeknownst to me, the Ruigi or Rude Zara collaboration. Now, honestly, I'm surprised and not surprised at the same time. Um, I'm surprised in the sense that uh, Ruigi is kind of always spoken against like fast fashion and stuff like that but in that very same breath we're seeing a lot of designers uh, do somewhat of like the fusion lines from their main line uh, kind of drop in quality a little bit that's no shade uh, at Ruigi or the brand or, or Zara or what have you but what I mean to say is that for those of you who wear or are familiar with Feargon main line you're spending quite a bit more for a product that is produced in the United States made of higher quality material and is really intrinsically looked at with regard to quality control. We see the Fear God Essentials diffusion line and you're not quite getting the same kind of product. Anyways, yes, I'm getting ready to go right now. Finally undiasing uh, the Notre Vans. Um, I have a few colors in these. I just haven't worn the green ones yet, uh, which I think are the best of the collaboration in my humble opinion. While they definitely look good independently, Let's go ahead and see how they look on the toe here. What do you think? I like them. All right, so um, I know I haven't been exactly as active on YouTube uh, over the course of the last, I wanna say 10 days or so. I think by now I should have like uploaded a few videos, but the reason for that being, I've been working on something that's a very, very big deal and it's directly connected to you guys um we're currently right now uh, going to be looking at a space before we head over uh to the mall to go ahead and head to zara but i don't know i don't know if i want to announce it right now so i think i'm going to just keep it under wraps but just know that the content gosh i don't want to give too much away i all i'll say is this is like there's gonna be very, very big moves happening this year with regard to the clothing line, with regard to the content here on the channel. And it, I wouldn't hype it up if it wasn't anything less than just an insane big move. The biggest move on the channel to date since creating the channel ultimately. So it's obviously, it's not done. We're gonna, it's gonna require work. Like we're gonna have like a set builder come in. Great size. That's nice and big. Oh yeah, this is this is an excellent size. Wow, this is this is pretty excellent, huh? I think so. I think it's gonna be perfect. And then uh, a few offices. This is gonna be the uh, the war room, so to speak. We have a big table here. Talk around the table, discuss stuff. This is great, dude. Like I. I Only thing is that light's not working. We'll get that fixed. That's easy. Come out here. I don't, I don't need more. This is, this exceeds what I need, you know? Yeah, absolutely. This is great. Seriously. This is exciting. Guys, this is exciting. Look at that smile. The dude, the next level of looking. No, I'm, yes, I'm excited baby. because we're going to take it to the next level. We're going we're gonna to keep pressing on, keep moving forward, and keep dreaming. Keep, keep dreaming. building. I love that. Yo, what is it good guys? So now that business is done, we're here at South Coast Plaza. I know I kind of touched on it already, but uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, more expensive designer brands make their way into uh, more fast fashion uh, stores like that. And obviously you have Fear of God with Essentials uh, over at PacSun. You have Marnie Uniqlo, JW Anderson Uniqlo. This just goes on and on making uh, these aesthetics a little bit more achievable to, I don't know, more of like the common person. But uh, with that, I just got in here to the mall, getting a lot of funny looks. I'm gonna put the camera down now. Well, 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 look who we have here. Good? It isn't the man himself. You, Let's go, player. Good, good. How are you? Good. Ready to see this uh, new collab, this surprise no drop? Wow, it's like so springy in here. I know. Right out front. Oh, look at that. Very nice. How's that jacket, man? Oh my god, Paul, dude, I was expecting you here today. What's up, man? How are you? I saw the Facebook post. Oh, it's got the leather details. I don't think it's real leather. Is this? Is that it? Oh, yeah, definitely not real leather. 
Oh, how's this blue one right here? They have a blue one too? I'm gonna do a hat too. That's kinda cool. Yeah. I'm gonna do this because I'm going to Palm Springs. Dude, get the booty shorts too, bro. Get the booty doing? shorts? What, is what the heck, dude? What is this? I don't know, man. You're gonna have to put this, it this on. Is like, this, this is like OnlyFans stuff, man. <laughs> like only you, gotta, you gotta pay up for that. Oh, the quality of the tees are pretty solid, E. Dude, they did a good job with this pair. Yeah. The wash on there. Do we like the blue? It's all leather. Like a track jacket, right? Yeah, really? it's thin. I kind that's why I like though. It's so crop. Like, Very small. Wear that? I feel like you wear it with like athletic wear. We're gonna we're gonna spend a little today. Knit polo. Really wide. Is that the same? Is it the same uh, cut? Dude, How do you remember, feel about it, man? Remember that route with Paxton? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, the, this compared to that one is so much better. This is so much oh, better. Oh, absolutely. This is actually like rude. Yeah, it's actually rude. Oh, they got sweatpants too. Let me see. Yeah. All right, so we made our way over to the fitting room. I'm sure that's closed here. And uh, I'm actually surprised, honestly, like pleasantly surprised with how well they executed this stuff. All right, so here's the hat. I don't know if I can pull this one off. It's got like a lower profile. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I have a pretty, pretty big head. <laughs> Hello, what do you guys think? Can I pull this off? All right, so here is the Varsity. Got nylon for the body. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. This is a large though, so it runs Small. The collection runs small. Bear in mind, I'm only uh, about 5'7", 160. This might be a potential pickup. Here's a t-shirt. This one is a size large, and I think it's a bit too big. As you can see, the shoulders. This is a size small right now, so it's not a product of sizing because it's two sizes lower. The fabric is pretty good. The cotton weight, too. Here is that knit polo. It's been on the crop side. This is size medium. I love the fabric and how it feels and stuff, how breathable it is, but it might be a little bit too loud for me. It's like a design wise, it's kind of on the louder side. Here is the crew neck, which actually fits pretty nicely. I like this. It's a bit more on the simple side too. Cream with the bolt colored. RHU up front. Been on the simple side, but yeah, it's not a bad piece either. The denim is actually pretty tough. It's definitely on the baggy side, very, very wide all throughout. But it does feature the signature rude little like slit there. A lot of these pants have that little slit. And so unfortunately they don't have the black one of this. This is the all leather jacket. So we're gonna have to stick with the uh, the cookie monster blue. How are we feeling about this one? I feel like that one looks a little bit more cropped, but that might just be an issue of the fabric or something. I'm pretty sure it's cut the same. Anytime we're at the mall, we always have to go to Uniqlo. Got you. Essential. The, es the real essentials. It really is, though. Summer, bro. I'd love to see you in that number. You know, I'm going to get some more white t-shirts. These, so these are the t-shirts I like to go with. It's people cotton. Very soft. Clean white t-shirts. Definitely easy to, to go to all the time. But they did raise the price on them. Inflation. Ew. It's clean. Yeah. 
How much is it? 20 bucks? The check out here is just like so amazing. Just so now. Look at this. Just put it in here and it just calculates it for you. Revolutionary stuff here. All right, so just got done over at Uniqlo. Picked up some basics. Didn't really find too, too much outside of that, but I cannot leave the mall without leaving my new favorite store, uh, Amy Crombie Leon Dor. It's, it's really reminiscent of Chain Stitch. Yeah. yeah okay. And it fits nice too. Oh, this, this is, is it. Casablanca. Extra small only? Yeah, yeah fair. Extra small. It's oversized though. That work jacket. That's pretty nice, man. Right? For he like, I, I did not expect, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Even this, like, it's a good color. Yeah, definitely. Tote bag, too. Like, dusk. Let's go ahead and try on the extra small. It says oversized, so I'm hoping it'll fit. Here's the extra small. Definitely riding that line of being too tight. I'm gonna try the small just in case. This one's the blue, obviously. I just wanna, oh yeah, this, this almost looks too big. This almost looks too big, honestly. Hey, extra small is the move. Okay, thank you for waiting. Oh, no worries, thank you. Your total's gonna be 64, 65. Okay. And then how do you want your receipt today? Uh, email's good. You're all set. Have thank nice you day. so much, you too. Yo, what is good everybody? So back here at the house, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did end up purchasing. First things first is this t-shirt from Uniqlo. Just a simple pocket tee. It's a bit boxy and it fits slightly oversized. Also ended up purchasing one of the Supima cotton tees. These are awesome. If you want something pretty thin and light and uh, just something clean, I have a whole bunch of these already, but I just can't seem to get enough because I, don't know, I kind of stink at laundry, so I tend to mess them up. Also, as you guys saw, we did do a stop at Amber Crombie and Fitch. Ended up purchasing this button up. I am gonna be going to uh, Palm Springs this week, and I thought I could use something, uh, you know, kind of dressed up, but also breathable. And at a price of 60 bucks, I feel like this one uh, was a necessity. Uh, side note, this is an extra small. So if you do decide to go and purchase one of these, uh, take that into account. They do fit pretty oversized. And then of course, on to the big purchase of the day. And the main reason why you guys probably stopped by this vlog, Zara times Rude. Um, I ended up spending about $500 at the store. I didn't realize that the leather jacket was 250 bucks or else I probably would have like double thought about it a little bit more. Um, it's fire though, I do like it. So we'll go ahead and start with that. Uh, it is like the most expensive item that I did purchase. And I think it's the most expensive item from this release. Uh, for it being fake leather, I feel like it looks pretty good. However, in that very same breath, um, it being fake leather, I was kind of surprised that it was 250 bucks. That makes sense. I do recommend sizing up in these jackets. I could have done a medium, but there would be no way I'd be able to layer a medium if I decided to go ahead and do that once it cools down a little bit more. But overall, very nice piece. I feel like Ruiji and Zara really did a very good job overall with regard to this collaboration. I actually ran into one of you guys, a subscriber, and we're kind of talking about this collection and my thoughts. And I could sum it up as this. This reminds me of uh, when Fog, like the original Fog, like first collection. And why I say that is because, uh, yes, it is a cheaper diffusion line, but it's definitely reminiscent of its mainline counterpart, filling that gap where Rude can be a bit more affordable to the average consumer. Next, we have this white Rude t-shirt. Kind of reminds me of like the BMW sign. I don't know if you guys kind of get those vibes too, but overall very sick shirt. I did size to a small in this one. I'm kind of all over the place with regard to sizing, but yeah, I felt like I wanted to go with a bit more of a fitted look. For 40 bucks, the fabric is pretty thick and I'm definitely not mad about this t-shirt. Next, we have this cream crew neck. It reads RHU on the front in the Volt colorway. Got the RHU also here on the back. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice overall. It is French Terry material, which is uh, definitely a nice touch. I believe retail on this one was 60 bucks. So not bad at all. I'm actually, I didn't, I didn't know it was 60 bucks. I thought it was 90. I mean, for 60 bucks, I feel like this is a pretty awesome item. This might actually be the garment that uh, is probably best value among all of it. Also ended up getting a pair of bottoms. These are the cargos. They have like a nice pigment wash to them. 
almost look like it's a bit faded. For this piece, they went with the black bungee rather than uh, the yellow that we generally see or the mustard. For 80 bucks, I feel like that's not too, too bad. They're comfortable, they're soft, and they look really cool on. So yeah, very fire pair of bottoms. And then I end up purchasing the RH hat, that of which I was a bit apprehensive on while we were in the store, but uh, it's very spring, very summer-esque, so I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of this one. As to how much I actually like this entire collection, I mean, honestly, I feel like it went under the radar. How did I not know about this release until I looked in the Facebook group and you guys told? Overall, I feel like there is a ton of promise behind this collaboration. As long as I stay on route and keep it like this, continue to be the rude in Zara that we wished that fear of God was still in Paxson. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing grows. I hope they continue to do this as partnership because I can definitely see this being a very awesome thing uh, as time progresses. But yes, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does let me know to keep the content coming. As always, it is a major privilege to serve you through making these videos. And I assure you, I will never take it for granted, even just a little bit as always. Always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and be blessed.